Today on the channel, we'll be looking at Marvel Legends series X-Men Marvel's Havoc, part of the Bone Breaker series. On the way I got it figured. The way I got it figured. Hey out there, Sheriff here on the way I got it figured with another Marvel Legends figure review. This time, Alex Summers, Marvel's Havoc. I right, these are part of the Bone Breaker Build a Figure Wave. And uh, I picked this figure up a little while ago. Obviously, just getting around to the review. This back blurb says Alex Summers, aka Havoc, fires superheated plasma from his hands to devastating effect. A veteran hero and leader. He belongs, he longs to step out of his older brother Cyclops' shadow. We got some artwork here of Havoc on either side of the, the box. Same art on the back, but a full picture. And of course the cross cell with the rest of the wave. I've already done videos for Wolverine and Sabretooth. Um, I'm probably done with this wave. I may get the Vulcan uh, merely because he's got a new body, but I haven't committed to it. Uh, partially because I know there's a Black Panther coming um, that would have the same body. So we're going to get Havoc out of the package and see what we got. All right, so here's Havoc out of his box with his effect parts and bone breaker build a figure pieces. Um, I'm not going to get the entire wave to build bone breaker. Um, I do like the weavers and everything, but nah, I don't feel like it's necessary to have. And I'm not necessarily a fan of every single character that's in the wave. So, you know, generally I'm plus or minus on whether or not I want to build a figure. Um, so Havoc does come with uh, some, some, some effect parts uh, for his hands and the back effect part that pegs into his, his back. And he comes with these two canisters, which I guess are sort of like gas cans that are on the tank, the tank torso of uh, Bone Breaker. Um, I'm probably going to use these for oil drums uh, for transformers or something like that. I'm not going to use them for anything other than that. Maybe a kegger. And then, of course, we have Havoc himself. And Havoc seems to use, if memory serves, the Bucky Cap mold. Um, he does have the butterfly joint, which I'm not sure if the chest, upper chest part is a part of that. Um, I know... Vulcan has a whole new body that he was uh, made with um, also with butterfly joints. Uh, but I'll have, to, I'll have to do a little bit more research into the Bucky Cat mold, but I believe this is the Bucky Cat mold, which is also the same mold that the Human Torch um, retro figure has. Uh, that was like a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. Um, and of course, he's, he's sporting all the normal... Marvel Legends articulation. He doesn't have any chicken neck, but he does have up, down, uh, a little bit of wobble there. Of course, he's got his butterfly joint, so you, you can do the shooting energy pose, Superman flying pose, I guess. If you wanted him to be flying, you could do that. normal amount of articulation on the arms he has pinned pinned arm joints uh, which I don't really care about I mean it's nice that they're upgrading the technology but once again it's not uh, something that's gonna make or break me buying a figure 
Uh, he does have the, only the two fisted hands that, that are attached. He does not have any loose, regular grip hands. I may have some black hands from another figure. I, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta check. Uh, but the only way you're gonna get uh, no other hand poses is by having somebody with all black hands that are in other poses. Of course, he's got the ab crunch. We swivel, thigh swivel, uh, leg kick out, leg kicks back, not all that far, uh, probably close to a true human range to be honest. No drop down uh, legs in there, but it's not hateful articulation, uh, of course, ankle rocker. So there you go. All right, let's get them uh, geared up. All right, here we have Havoc geared up with his plasma effects uh, surrounding his body and his arms so he can shoot some super powerful energy beams uh, that he is uh, somehow also immune to. Um, and he definitely looks the part. Uh, the attraction for this Havoc for me was, um, I'm a big fan of the era of Chris Claremont's X-Men where the X-Men were believed to be dead um, and they were hanging out in Australia, which makes it appropriate that he's in a bone breaker wave. Um, they had taken over the Reavers headquarters um, and at the time they were uh, unable to be recorded by any kind of electronic equipment so it sort of added to the the legend of the X-Men um, so Havoc uh, was wearing this outfit up till from his from his appearance in the 60s up until uh, this time period and then after that uh, they had broken up for a while uh, via various means they didn't really break up but you know uh, circumstances caused people to break up and Havoc uh, joined the X Factor team where he had the kind of 90s leather jacket and all these zippers and everything like that that was going on. Uh, kind of a, definitely a well-known look for the character, but this is his classic look. He has returned to this look over the years. Um, and it's, you know, it's my favorite look for Havoc, the original. Um, so, so yeah, that, that's Havoc. I'll call him uh, Inferno Era Havoc, which is also one of my favorite X-Men storylines. So there you have it, Havoc, Bone Breaker Wave with his uh, pieces and parts, bits and bobs. Uh, final thoughts on this figure, I'm going to give him, I'll give him a seven. Um, standard articulation, standard posability, um, but he is... Uh, you know, fairly plain Jane. There's not a lot going on with him besides the effect parts. And he doesn't come with any extra hands, which, you know, you kind of want some sort of extra parts. Uh, the Wolverine uh, that was also in this line did not have any extra hands either. So, you know, I'm not sure what, what they're doing over there in the Marvel Legends department. But they ain't giving hands, at least not for this wave. All right, well, I would like to thank everybody for watching this video. If you like the content, please give me a subscribe, a like, and a comment. Um, I, I do this, uh, you know, as an outlet for myself to do something and have a use for my action figures. But I also like to share this with others in the action figure community. So I do like to get feedback about that and any, you know, critiques that maybe somebody might have i'm not i'm not immune to that so um until the next time this is uh the sheriff the way i got it figured signing off see you on the next video